Hey peeps, my name's Robert Costa, aka Groove Mechanic, Ableton Certified Trainer, and developer of GM Audio Max for Live devices. In this video, I just wanted to walk you through some brief examples of how you can use GM Audio Trans D version 2. I've just got this drum break here. And I've got an instance of GM Audio Trans D2. And I'm just going to pop open the info view. So now we can see a description of some of these controls. So the three main controls is the transients, sensitivity, and duration. Now if I turn the transients up 100%, what this gives us is just the transients of the sound. Basically the start of some of these drum hits. And if I turn it in the other direction, it essentially mutes these sounds. Now how you might typically use this would be perhaps putting it at 50%. So you can hear that just adds a bit more punch to some of these drum hits while attenuating the rest of the sound. And you'll notice that there's no input or output volume controls. The beauty of having this blend of transients and no transients means that the volume will stay the same and doesn't need to be compensated, making it much easier to use compared to other transient designers. Now let's turn this back up to 100% and play with the sensitivity. So you can hear that it goes from very sensitive to not sensitive at all. And this basically allows you to select which transients are being picked up by GM Audio Trans D2. So you can kind of accentuate certain drum sounds and not others. Then lastly, there's the duration. Which goes either really short or really long. And this controls the duration of the transients. But GM Audio Trans D version 2 can go much further than this. If we click this little unfold button, the rest of the controls will appear. So there's a sidechain input to select an external track which can be used for the transient detection. There's also a MIDI note output and an external envelope output. Now the MIDI note output is only available to Live 11 users, but you can still use the external envelope. Now to get access to this external envelope, we basically create a new audio track, select audio from, choose the track where we have GM Audio Trans D2, and then from the second drop down, choose GM Audio Trans D2. Now this signal can be used in other audio effects as a sidechain input, like what I've done here on this auto filter. Now let's have a look at the rest of the examples that are in this project. On this track here, I've just got a basic operator patch with some delay and EQ with a scale object at the beginning. And I've got the MIDI from set to this breaks track with GM Audio Trans D2 as the MIDI input. So now each time a transient is detected by Trans D2, a MIDI note will be output based on these settings here. And you can see that I'm actually modulating the pitch of the MIDI note output, as well as the duration, which affects both the transient and the MIDI note output. So we can hear how that sounds. So we're kind of getting these strumming type sounds and notes that walk up and down the keyboard. being triggered by the drum break. In this third track here, I've got a kind of 303 type sound, and I'm using the external envelope to control this filter to basically open and close the sound based on the drum breaks. So when the drum break hits, this high pass filter goes up, kind of closing off the sound, and when the drum break transients kind of disappear, that's when the sound opens back up again. Now 
there's still more that we can do with GM Audio Trans D version 2. On the group, I've got GM Audio Trans D2 in an audio effect rack. So I've simply right clicked it and grouped this audio effect and then duplicated the chain and applied different effects to each of them. So if I solo this, we're listening to just the transients. Now I've selected the sidechain input as the drum break before any effects have been applied. So the original drum break is what's triggering this transient detection, basically accentuating the transients of the drums for all of the sounds in the group. In the second chain, I've done the same thing again, but instead of listening to the transients, we'll be listening to the rest of the sounds. <laughs> So in this signal, those drum break transients are being attenuated, and then I'm applying effects. So one way I really like to use GM Audio Trans D2 is in this kind of split processing mode. And quite often, drums, when they're sent to a reverb, can tend to muddy up a track quite a bit. But in this kind of setup, if we apply the reverb to just the sustain of the sounds, or the no transients, then we get a much cleaner reverb sound. <laughs> If I put this at the end here, versus in this chain, we get a much more subtle effect and those transients still cut through the mix really nicely. Now another thing I've done with these two chains is that in this first one, I'm using GM Audio BSEQ, which is basically filter and saturation, and I'm using it to attenuate the highs and lows, or essentially boosting the mids and applying some extra harmonics, and then kind of doing the opposite with the filter for the sustain or body of the sound, where I'm boosting the lows and highs. This is almost like a dynamic EQ, applying different effects dynamically to the sound. And with that all together, with it off, The idea being that the transients have the mids boosted a little bit just to help them punch through the mix a little bit better and then the rest of the sound has a bit more low frequency and high frequency content to make it feel a little bit louder. That's it for now. I'll be going through more examples in future videos. Thanks for watching.